Hi everybody, it's Mark, aka the Drunk Bunny, back with you again today for another new video. Welcome to this winter wonderland of sorts today. It's very, it snowed about two inches or so last night, which is not a whole lot um, for where I'm from, but um, it's very slippery outside today, <laughs> and I actually, <laughs> I wish I would have had somebody filming me come down the stairs, because I started stepping, there there's this, um, in order to come into the parking lot, there's this small, uh, like, set of four stairs that you have to walk down, and, uh, they were not plowed at all, they were not salted at all, so it was just a big mound of snow and ice, and I went to step on the first one, and my shoes just slid, and I slid down the stairs, <laughs> so it would have been awesome if someone had a video camera, we could have sent me off to America's Funniest Home Videos, <laughs> if they even do that anymore. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> that was fun. Fun way to start my day. Covered my backside in snow and ice. So that's wonderful. Hopefully my pants won't be wet the whole day. Um, anyway, today I'm out to see a movie. Um, this is actually going to be the first episode of season two, which is going to be 2018 for Let's Go to the Movies. Um, I'm hoping to document most of the movies that I see this year, just like I did last year. That's why I'm calling this season two, because this is the second year I've done this. So, um, this series doesn't get a whole lot of views, but I really don't care. Um, I think one of the reasons why it doesn't is because I have a unique title for it called Let's Go to the Movies. Um, instead of just like a movie trip or a movie review or something. I feel like if I'd titled it that, I'd get more views, but I really don't care. Like I said, I don't do YouTube for views, I do it for fun. Um, and because I like interacting with, uh, you people. So, um, anyway, this is actually my second trip of the movie, to the movies of 2018. Um, last weekend, I believe it was Saturday, um, I went to see All the Money in the World, um, which I really, really loved, but I didn't film a video for it, um, but yeah, I did like All the Money in the World quite a bit. Um, it's kind of gotten some bad press recently. Um, not only because of the whole Kevin Spacey thing, but apparently Mark Wahlberg demanded a million dollars to reshoot with Christopher Plummer. Um, and after all the hate that he got for that, um, he just decided, uh, since decided to donate that to charity. Um, but anyway, uh, I kind of lost some respect for Mark Wahlberg after hearing that. But, anyway, today I am heading off to see The Post, um, which is a Spielberg film starring Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks, um, Bob Odenkirk, who's, I'm very excited to see Bob Odenkirk. I love him as an actor. Um, and I can't think of anybody else right offhand. But anyway, it's about, uh, the Pentagon Papers and the decision by the Washington Post whether to publish or not, publish those papers or not, so, um, should be kind of fun, I'm a history major, I love history, and this is a movie that's extremely relevant because we've got a president now that is constantly attacking the media in a similar way Nixon did, um, back in the day, so, very relevant topic right now, so I'm actually excited to see this, this will be the first movie I've seen that was released in 2018. Um, I know it had a limited release right before Christmas, but the official release date for this movie is January 12, 2018, so it's the first one that will count towards my um, reviews for 2018. Um, the first one that's eligible for the top 10, so. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna head over to see it. Um, good news is it's not snowing right now. It's very, very light if it is. Um, so yeah, and I'm sure the main roads will be clear. So, shouldn't be a problem getting anywhere. Um, it's also Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so happy uh, MLK Day. Um, probably the most deserving out of all the people we give holidays to. Uh, he was a great, one of my favorite historical figures, great man. Um, so yeah, I got the day off school, which is great. So it is Monday. Um, so yeah, the week's shorter. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, I'll see you guys. I'm actually going to run by a couple places real quick. I'm going to go by Dollar General and Big Lots just to see if they have anything um, in terms of DVDs and Blu-rays. Also, I need to pick up some candy, so I'll do that. Um, 
But other than that, if I don't pick anything up, I'll see you guys at the movie theater. Hey guys, so I actually stopped by Walmart real quick. And uh, every time you're in Walmart, you have to check out the t-shirts. They actually have some pretty cool stuff. I have that um, Kiss t-shirt. really like that one. Yeah. Anyway. Looking. <laughs> Hey guys, so outside the movie theater right now, as you can see, um, let me actually put you guys in my little, um, mount here, so I don't have to hold the camera. Uh, sorry about the delay. Alright, anyway, outside the theater, as you can tell, I'm getting ready to go in to see the post. I actually have a little over an hour before the movie starts, I did not kill enough time. And I've had some other uh, issues going on right now. So, um, my gas cap is, like, frozen shut right now. It's so cold outside. My gas cap is frozen shut. And I don't have one of those that has the little uh, lip on it where you can pull it out manually. Mine is attached to a button that's inside the car. So when I press the button inside the car, nothing happens. The thing does not come out. I've tried to kind of carefully pry it open but I can't do it so um anyway and I'm actually fairly low on gas it says I can only go 60 miles before I run out of gas so um yeah it's a good thing I'm not too far away from home so the plan is just to go home and then um whenever I try to get gas if it doesn't work I'm gonna try pouring some hot water in there um or maybe getting some de-icer and maybe that'll work but yeah it's been, uh, I've had a few issues today, um, so with that being said, I didn't want to go too far, so I only hit up a couple places. I went to Dollar General, which had a couple decent deals in terms of Blu-rays, but nothing that I loved, um, and for five bucks, like, Blu-rays for five bucks, it's a decent deal, but unless it's something I really want to own, there's no point in me buying it, really. Um, so I'm not gonna buy just an okay movie for five bucks. Um, so yeah, I didn't pick up any Blu-rays. I did get some candy there. And, um, and then I went to Walmart, actually. I didn't go to Big Lots. I went to Walmart. Um, and the Walmart here, I think I've said it before, the Walmart here has such a better selection than the one at my, uh, hometown. So, yeah, I didn't pick up any Blu-rays. I actually bought a t-shirt. I'll show that to you guys. <laughs> It's not a Blu-ray or DVD, it's a t-shirt. I got this Wonder Woman t-shirt. Awesome. And she does look a little bit like Gal Gadot. Like, it's not a direct copy, of course, but... She's got the outfit that Gal Gadot wore in the movie, of course. And, uh, anyway, I bought a t-shirt. It's kind of fun. It's actually almost the same color as the t-shirt I'm wearing right now, which is kind of cool. They also had some other ones that I really liked. Um, they're all $7.50, I think. Pretty good deals. But... 750 I don't have like 750 to blow on 10 t-shirts you know so I picked one um that's my budgeting <laughs> anyway uh they had some awesome Star Wars t-shirts um they had like 10 of them I really really liked some of them they had one that had like color a uh, little like color squares it had all the different characters there's one with like Yoda and Han Solo and Darth Vader and that one was really cool. They also had one that was just like, they have like a standard Star Wars t-shirt which has little stars on it and the Star Wars logo. And they had this one that had the Star Wars logo in red with The Last Jedi written on it for, of course, The Last Jedi. Um, that one was cool. Lots of Star Wars t-shirts that I would like to pick up there, but I'm trying to stay away from spending all that money. They also had another Justice League t-shirt that I did like. Um... It had, like, all the superhero logos on it. So it had the Superman logo, the Batman logo, Wonder Woman logo, the Flash logo, all the awesome superhero logos on it. So I liked that one as well. Some of the other Justice League ones I really didn't like. Because um, I didn't really like Justice League that well. It was okay, you know. It felt like DC was trying to copy Marvel and it didn't work at all. I also am not a fan of Ben Affleck as Batman. Um... I feel like the Dark DC movies were really good. The Dark Knight series is my favorite series of superhero movies of all time. And they went in a dark, um, suspenseful direction with that movie. They didn't do a whole lot of uh, funny stuff. 
um, which is kind of what Marvel does. Marvel has a little bit of a light side to their movies with a lot of comedy. Um, obviously, the comedy is not the big part of the movie, but there is quite a few you know spots for comedic relief in those Marvel movies, and the Marvel movies are good. But DC, I felt like tried to copy that with the last uh, with the Justice League, and it just didn't work. Um, I found it boring at many times. Um, I know I never really gave a review for that movie. I did watch it. Obviously, it didn't make my top ten, so I wasn't in love with it. Um, but it, it also wasn't that bad. It just wasn't that good. Anyway, um, I would love to. I can't wait for the next uh, Wonder Woman movie. Um, I don't know when that's coming out. I don't know if that's like 2019 or so. Anyway, just kind of blabbering right now, trying to kill time. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, I picked that up. Um, let's see if I can find my candy here. I always try to get a... Um, basically, when I go to the movies, I don't eat another meal. So the movies is like my meal. Um, so that's not really good for me, but also... You know, it's not quite as bad that I eat as much food as I do in the movies. I got a Hershey's chocolate bar with um, almonds. That's like my go-to candy bar. And then I uh, got a box of Swedish fish, which is... I usually try to go for one uh, chocolate candy and then one sweet candy. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what I got. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I kind of treat the movies as kind of like... It's kind of like a... Um, holiday retreat thing for me. I go to the movies, I, you know, the, I love going to the movies. Obviously, I go to the movies a lot. I, I probably went to the movies about 20 times last year, um, which is a lot for some people. It's not a lot for other people. Uh, it just depends on kind of who you are. But I go to the movies quite a bit because it's, it's just one of the few things I really, really love doing that gets me out of the house. Um, <laughs> You know, if I'm just going to stay at home, I'll probably play video games all day, listen to music, and that's about it. Maybe watch some movies, uh, like Blu-rays and stuff. But, um, one of the few things I really love that gets me out of the house is going to the movies. And I especially love going to the movies by myself. That's why I do that most of the time. I'd say, maybe last year I went to the movies with other people maybe five times. Um, the rest of the times I was by myself. Um... Uh, and it's just, it's it's an amazing experience for me. It brings me back to childhood in the sense that um, I used to go to the movies all the time with my aunt, and that was kind of one of the fun things I would look forward to. So it does kind of bring me back to, uh, to childhood. The whole experience, you know, going up, buying a ticket, buying, getting popcorn, smelling the fresh pop popcorn, maybe the butter. I don't usually put butter on mine, but um, obviously they put butter on it before they pop it. Um, it's not plain, but anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Smelling the butter, the, the soda, you know, walking to the theater, picking out a seat, just, and then when the lights go down and the movie starts playing, it's just an experience, um, and there's nothing quite like it for me, um, so yeah, this is kind of my time by myself where I kind of feel good about the world <laughs> uh, for a while, for a few hours, and then we're back to everything. But anyway, um, it's getting a little bit dark. My conversations are getting a little bit dark, so I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I've been talking for eight and a half minutes. Anyway, um, I'm going to go in and see the post. I'm expecting some good things. Um, I have heard that it's not quite it's not, like, Oscar-worthy, and it feels kind of oscar Beatty, I think, is what they said. Um, you know, with Spielberg and Meryl Streep and all these big-name actors and actresses that uh, usually attract Oscar nominations. Um, they kind of said it feels a little bit like that. Like, they're trying desperately to get Oscar noms out of this uh, movie. Um, but it's not quite as good as uh, the as it's kind of hyped up to be, I think. Um, from what I've heard, but obviously that's not going to impact my interpretations of the movie. I'm going to go in this with an open mind and uh, see what I think about it. So I'll be back out here later to tell you guys what I thought of the post. Hey everybody, um, outside the theater now, just got done seeing the post. Um, and I really, really liked that one as well. Um, 
definitely, obviously it's my favorite of the year so far since it's the first one that I've seen that was officially released in 2018. Because um, it did have a limited release uh, before Christmas and then it was nationwide January 12th. So I'm considering this an official release in 2018. So yeah, but it was very solid nonetheless. Um, that's not the only reason why it would be my favorite. Um, I did feel like the first first uh, 40 minutes of the film were a little bit slow, but um, once uh, everything picked up, it really got good. Uh, the second half of the movie was phenomenal. Loved every second of it. Um, super, super relevant uh, to the times we're living in right now. Now maybe if we were to watch this, I don't know, 15 years down the road, when we're not in a similar situation that we were uh, back in the 70s, then maybe um, it wouldn't be quite as good, but it was still really well done, uh, and I loved it. Uh, great actors, obviously, in this great cast. Uh, there's Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep, um, Bob Odenkirk, Bradley Whitford, lots of really great actors and actresses in this film, and uh, it was performed very well. The, the background, like the side characters, I didn't really love. Um, but, you know, that wasn't the point of this movie. The point of the movie was the main story, and, uh, and, that, and that was great, like I said. Oh, it just reminded me so much. Um, Trump and Nixon are so similar in their behavior, um, except I think we could pretty much all admit that Nixon was a lot smarter uh, than Trump was, although you could say maybe he's not very smart, but he was, um, he was intelligent, more intelligent. Donald Trump is just an idiot, and I, I don't really want to offend anybody who might support him, but, I mean, come on, he, he is an idiot. Uh, I would hope we could all recognize that, regardless of whether you support him or not. Um, anyway, uh, Nixon was extremely paranoid, um, and, uh, heavily attacked the media, tried to shut the Washington Post and the New York Times down. That was, of course, the subject of this film. I'm sure Donald Trump would like to, if he could, uh, shut down the, the free press. Because he's just non-stop attacking them to the point where most people, or maybe not most people, but there's a good, good section of the country that unfortunately doesn't believe uh, what the media says. Um, which, I mean, there's obvious, there's obvious biases in the media. Uh, the media, in my opinion, has a massive corporate bias. Um, but they don't lie about everything right and left. The, the bias in the media is what they choose to cover and uh, what they don't choose to cover, um, unfortunately. But it's not like they're lying about what Trump says. He literally says the stuff and they report it, like... It's not lies. Anyway, um, I don't I don't mean to get on that subject too much, but that is the subject of the film, um, and that's one of the reasons why I thought it was so good. It was very relatable to the current political climate in the United States. So, yeah, um, overall, as a film in that realm of the historical political drama, um, which I, uh, I, I thought it definitely held quite a bit of merit, um, and I would give it a four out of five. Um, I don't think it was, you know, quite as good as some of the movies that I've loved recently. Um, I don't know if it was quite as good as All the Money in the World, because All the Money in the World was more of a thriller. I mean, they're different movies. I thought All the Money in the World was more exciting, but obviously there's different stuff going on in the movies. So, for what it was, it was really, really good, um, and I'd highly recommend checking out The Post. Um, so, yeah didn't feel like a Spielberg film to me, but, you know, um, he obviously directed it, loved the score, um, the score was done by John Williams, who does the score for all the Star Wars films, um, so, really good score as well. I am super sore from when I took a nosedive earlier today on the, on the, uh, steps, uh, I told you that at the beginning of this video, so yeah, I'm very sore, I'm gonna go home and, uh, rest up, I have class tomorrow. Ugh, that's not going to be fun. And I have to work in the afternoon. I've got a long day ahead of me, but had a good time at the movies today. Um, 
So if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for future content. I'm hoping to do media hunting soon. I want to go to Champaign just to do media hunting. No movie. Uh, no, I'm not going to see a movie or anything. Just going media hunting. I might try to do that this week. I don't know if I'll have time. Um, but, you know, I wouldn't do anything crazy. Just go to disc replay and stuff. Um, so maybe a future shorter video coming uh, soon. That would be nice. We will see if that happens. Um, otherwise might do some videos at home of my collection. Um, I haven't done those in quite a while. Kind of like a collection within my collection type thing. I uh, might show you guys one of my box sets or something. I don't know. But somehow, some way, I will be getting new content out soon. I have been rambling forever. So I will say goodbye. Have a, I hope you had an awesome Martin Luther King Jr. day. And I hope you have a great week ahead. And whenever you're watching this, Hope you have a great time, so bye.